I enjoy visiting Mandalay, as it means I can visit many interesting places that are within easy reach. So after my visit up the Irrawaddy River to the Mingam Bell, I plan to visit the Ubin Bridge. It's a place I've visited many times. As usual, I want to say hi to the local people going about their daily chores. The people all friendly, the children beautiful, but you have to get them to smile. Believe it or not, when the lake is full during the summer months, the top of the bridge is only a few feet above the water. For tourists wanting to get a special view of the sunset, the boats are available for a small fee. Their style of rowing clearly showing they've studied physics. The owl is their favourite bird and considered lucky, but one might reason that to catch them and encage them is not very lucky for the owl. For many years the longest teak bridge in the world 1.2 kilometers long and built in 1786. A popular destination for tourists and locals alike. Tea, snacks and drinks are available at each end. Tour groups come here but the main tourists are actually local people, as it's an enchanting, almost magical place, as it dances with the sun every evening to the delight of thousands of spectators. The best time to visit is sunset, and we timed it to perfection. The images I got were unforgettable in every way. A kaleidoscope of Burma life passing before my eyes over the Ubin Bridge. On each trip to Burma, I've tried to see some of the amazing sights that the nation has to offer. The Ubin Bridge is no exception. 235 years old and still doing the job. It's actually constructed of teak planks, salvaged from the ancient royal city of Ava, the old capital a few miles away. The children using their tanaka bark to decorate their faces and keep cool. The teenagers really having fun. The best time is the evening, when the setting sun silhouettes the bridge and its occupants to provide a spectacular shadow theatre of Burma life.
Then, as the sun knocked off work for the day, we returned to Mandalay. I'm in the back of the local tuk-tuk style taxi. Great time filming in the Ubin, Ubin Bridge, and uh, we're in the in the little car heading back. And I'm hoping there's people behind so I can have light on my face. Oh. Another fun day in Southeast Asia. The recent things that are happening, however, are a serious cause for concern. This was filmed in 2010, when we hoped for better days. If you enjoyed the film and would like to see more, there are hundreds of travel films on this channel. Subscribe and click the notifications bell I try to post two every week. Share the channel with anyone you feel would enjoy it. And stay safe.